Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at backing up data to another location, i.e. an external drive, a flash drive, um, a separate drive on your computer, and uh, how we can synchronize and mirror those uh, backups so we uh, can always keep it updated. And the way you can do that is a simple little program called uh, Free File Sync. And I've done a video on this many years ago, uh, but someone's asked about uh, syncing files and keeping them updated. And this is probably uh, the most easiest way uh, to do it, and it's free. So we're going to hit the download button here. And uh, what we're going to do is download this and then install it on our system. So you can see here, this is our Windows setup. It does work on Mac OS, Linux as well, which is nice. So you've got all the versions for different, different operating systems there available just hit the Windows setup here and uh, we're going to click on the file there to install it and I'll leave the link in the video description for you so I'm going to agree to their terms and conditions and you can read all this information if you wish and go next I'm going to install it into my C drive and you can see here that's going to put it in these locations here go next and let that uh, install there we go now good thing about free file sync is if you have say a folder with documents that you want to uh, keep updated so when you delete a document it can delete it if you uh, copy a new document across it will automatically update uh, that uh, location as well so it's good for that type of uh, thing so I've uh, used it for things like um, say tools I've got like a tools folder and if I update that tools folder I like to make sure that it's copying across to my USB flash drive and keeping that updated as well so for instance if I'm using something like this and I've got all my tools inside here and all my software and everything else that I like to use on a regular basis on my flash drive I want to make sure that all these uh, tools are kept updated so when I download these uh, new tools to, uh, when new versions I can just drop them into the folder onto my desktop and it will be copied across uh, to uh, that location and keep it updated okay so this is a great way of uh, doing that and also adding new tools to here and new information uh, to this location so let's take a look at the program itself okay so let's take a look at how we can set this up so as you can see here this is the actual software now this uh, here is going to be our computer uh, where we're going to be updating that folder on a regular basis and what it's going to do is compare that to the other path here which will be another area on our computer or a flash drive or an external drive or another uh, drive on the computer and it will keep them both uh, updated okay so if you can just drag into here if you want to or you can actually browse for a selected folder to uh, use okay so I'm going to do that so I'm going to use my toolkit here and uh, this is my toolkit which I'm going to be using and what I want to do is locate my toolkit on another place so for instance I've got it on this is my uh, flash drive here and I want to make sure that we've got that there so you can see this is on our C drive and this is on our E drive so anything I change on the uh, C drive here will be mirrored onto uh, our E drive here so it'll be exactly ident identical okay so what we need to do now is now we've got our path set up for each of our destinations here so we've got our main uh, folder which is on our computer and we've got our folder which is on our USB flash drive so now we need to click on the comparison uh, settings here this is the cog and uh, you can see under the comparison here we've got a selector variant and uh, we've got the file time and size here and this is going to allow you to uh, identify equal files by comparing modification times and size so this is what this is going to do you've also got a file content and also file size here there's some other stuff down here like include symbolic links and also ignore errors and automatic retry you've got your filters here which you can include and exclude so moving on to the synchronization uh, tab here we can click on this one and you can get to these by clicking on the short keys which are F6, F7 and F8. Now we've got some options on the left to select a variant. I'm going to be selecting mirror and the reason why is because uh, mirror will create a mirror backup of the left folder 
by adapting the right folder to match. So everything I do on this folder here, which will be on my desktop, it will automatically mirror uh, the location on the right, which will be my main backup as well. So you can see that's how that works. So also uh, two way, it will give you identify and propagate changes on both sides deletions, moves and conflicts are uh, detected automatically using a database. So it depends on which one you want to do here. Update, again, copy new update files to the right. It will do that also. It just depends or you can set up a custom one if you want to and configure your own synchronization rules here, which is a bit more in depth and another video that would take. So I'm going to leave this as mirror. And you've also got the delete files here. So if you delete files, you can either send them to the recycle bin. Now, if you're working with uh, massive uh, files and stuff like that, that might not be a good thing because you're going to fill up your recycle bin. Uh, if you want to just permanently delete those, you can do uh, by using a per uh, permanently uh, delete those files. And that's pretty much it, really. So if you want to, uh, on completion, uh, shut down your computer and stuff like that, you can set that up if you want to. And uh, this will... Uh, use the command shutdown space forward slash s and so on so it's entirely up to you what you set that as but we're going to click that ok here now once we've done this uh, we're going to compare and click the compare button and this will start to compare the differences between the two now because we've already got files on our folder here let me have a look here we've already got this folder here and as you can see here um, it's already there so if there was no files inside that USB flash drive it will start to copy all those across to that location and that's what it will do so we can see uh, we've got set up now and uh, once you've done that uh, you can synchronize the mirror as well and start this off and it's completed successfully as you can see here now if I started to make changes to uh, the folder on my desktop uh, that would obviously start to copy across to uh, the USB flash drive or the external drive or whatever drive uh, that you're using. Okay, so here we have uh, the uh, computer. This is on my computer on the left and this is on the right, which is my backup area. You can see this is my USB flash drive here and uh, this is on my desktop on my computer. So now any changes I make inside here will automatically uh, replicate across on the right hand side here so if I needed to add something uh, to this I can go into here and start to add in my programs that I want to and it will automatically copy those across to uh, my flash drive which keeps that up to date so when I ever need to use it it's automatically updated I don't have to take my uh, touch my main one on my computer so when I ever want to uh, roll out an update I just have to make changes on my desktop and it will quickly update that version on my USB flash drive. So let's add some programs uh, to uh, the drive here. So we're going to change it. So this would be copying these files across to my desktop uh, machine here. So I'm just going to copy uh, this O and O over here. So I just copy that one into the folder on my desktop. And that means that I would have made changes to this uh, folder. So I'm just going to copy this here. And once you've got that done, you can see we do have a couple of uh, files inside there. Now, once you've got that copied, what you can do is go back to your program and add the program and add these into my program menu. So I'm going to go up to my uh, tools here and configure. So just configure this one here. And what we need to do is choose a location. So I'm going to run another program here and by adding a program, uh, put the name of that program in there and add the path in. So click on browse and browse to the location of that folder, which you've just put on your desktop. So I'm going to click this here and click open and add that to my menu. And there we go. So now we've done that, we can save this. You can put the URL inside of the website here if you wanted to. And all I need to do here is save this. And that's saved to the pen drive. So let's just do uh, one more here. I'm going to do the 32-bit version as well. So I'm just going to add this one in quickly. And all I need to do here is get the link for the URL, which I'll just show you here how to put that in. And this is not about this program really, it's really about the sync 
uh, program but I just wanted to add this in and make a change so you can see so I'm going to save and exit and uh, we can now have a look here and if you look down here system tools you can see uh, that we need to look over the right hand side here which is on our USB flash drive and you can see that the program has not been added the folders not been added yet to there and the reason why is because we need to uh, sync this with our program so if I do this compare what it's going to do is is going to now find that there is a difference between the two and it will now ask to copy those files across to that USB uh, flash drive and uh, I can synchronize and it will copy those across and that's pretty much it and they've now gone across uh, to here you can also create a batch file to do this for you where you click on it and it'll automatically do it when you click on that batch file if you want to do that uh, that's another feature that you can do here it's pretty straightforward to do and set up you just have to put in all the information inside here and put that to your taskbar and click on that and it will automatically do all that for you and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can back up just about anything really using that tool you can have more than one container or one folder that you want to uh, back up at any one time it will just continuously uh, uh, mirror those across and it can be just about any type of content that you want to do whether it'll be programs uh, documents pictures anything you like and you can send them to anywhere uh, or any device really and that's about it for this video my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.